The life of the universe is characterized by the presence of many extraordinary events, some of them involving huge amounts of energy. But have you ever wondered what is the most powerful type of event in the universe? And did you know that it is something so powerful that could potentially even cause life extinction on Earth? Curious to know what it is? Stick with me and I'll tell you in a few moments. In the universe, extremely powerful events happen all the time. Think, for example, to a supernova. A supernova is an immense explosion that occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel. The star collapses on itself, producing a huge explosion. These events are so energetic that a supernova occurring in our galaxy would be visible during daylight in our sky. The amount of energy produced by a supernova in a few seconds is more than the energy emitted by the sun during its whole lifetime. That's impressive. However, supernovas are not even the most powerful events in the universe. In this special ranking, the honor belongs to another type of event called a gamma ray burst, or GRB for our friends. But what are they? GRB are brief bursts of gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most energetic form of electromagnetic radiation. What does it mean? There are different types of electromagnetic waves. In fact, they are classified into seven categories depending on their frequency. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. You should be familiar with some of them. Microwaves, for example, are used to cook food. Radio waves are used for telecommunications, while x-rays are used for medical imaging. These seven types of radiation are ranked from lowest to highest frequency. Lower frequency means lower energy, while higher frequency means higher energy. This also means that radio waves are the electromagnetic waves with the lowest energy, while gamma rays are the most energetic ones. In fact, gamma rays are very dangerous to humans. They are, for instance, emitted by some radioactive source, and they can penetrate through the human body, causing damage to tissue and organs. They can even cause DNA mutations with long-term effects such as increasing the risk of cancer. So gamma ray bursts are intense, short-lived bursts of extremely energetic gamma rays. But how are they produced? It depends. In fact, they are classified into two types, depending on their duration, short GRBs and long GRBs. Short gamma ray bursts have a duration of less than two seconds, and they can even last a few milliseconds only. Although scientists are not exactly sure about their origin, they think that short gamma ray bursts are produced during events known as neutron star merger, in which two neutron stars collide producing a more massive one or a black hole. When these huge cosmic collisions occur, a lot of energy, in the form of gamma rays, is released, producing a gamma ray burst. It is believed that short gamma ray bursts are also produced when a neutron star merges with a black hole. On the other hand, long gamma ray bursts are those lasting more than two seconds. Some can even last a few minutes. These represent the majority of GRB events, and they are usually produced during a supernova explosion. In the collapse of a star, a lot of energy is released producing a GRB. But how were they first discovered? Well, this is interesting. In fact, they were discovered by accident. During the 1960s, during the Cold War, the United States sent a group of satellites, the Vela satellites, into space. These satellites were equipped with gamma ray detectors, and their main purpose was to detect possible nuclear explosions on Earth or in space, which would have been a sign of military activity on behalf of the Soviet Union. However, on July 2, 1967, two of these satellites detected a sudden flash of gamma radiation whose nature was very different from the signal emitted by known nuclear weapons. In the following years, dozens of other similar signals were detected. By analyzing all the data from the satellites, it became clear that the origin of these gamma ray flashes was in space, not on Earth. In fact, these were the very first detections of gamma ray bursts. In 1973, all these findings were published in an article of the Astrophysical Journal and the astronomical community finally started to acknowledge the existence of these events. How does a gamma ray burst look like? Although we never took a clear picture of one of them, in fact all the GRBs we observed so far were too distant from us, scientists believe that most of the energy produced by a gamma ray burst 
is concentrated in two narrow cones on the opposite sides of the source. So contrary to most types of events in the universe, here the energy is not emitted in all directions. Instead, it is focused into one precise direction. We can think, therefore, a GRB as a narrow beam of gamma rays, extremely energetic radiation. But how powerful are gamma ray bursts? Before finding out the answer to this question, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can continue to improve and make these videos better for you, the viewer. Plus, be sure to subscribe to the channel clicking the bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. So we have seen how gamma ray bursts were discovered and how they are produced. But how energetic are they? Well, before answering this question, we need to clarify the difference between energy and power first. Energy is a concept we are very familiar with. For instance, if you need to boil the water in a pot, you turn on the stove, and the heat will provide a certain amount of energy to the water. The longer you leave it on, the more the energy transferred to the water. Energy is measured in joules, so we can say, for example, that if you leave the stove on for one second, 1,000 joules of energy will be transferred to the water. Power, instead, is the rate at which energy is transferred, so it also takes into account how much time is required for that transfer of energy to occur. In the previous example, a more powerful stove may be able to transfer 2,000 joules of energy in one second instead of 1,000 joules only. In that case, we say that the power of this new stove is twice that of the first stove. Power is measured in watts, where one watt means one joule of energy transferred each second. So in our example, the first stove has a power output of 1000 watts, while the second stove has a power output of 2000 watts. Now that we have clarified this difference, we can talk about the energy and the power of a gamma ray burst. The amount of energy released by GRBs is impressive. A typical gamma ray burst can emit around 10 to the power of 44 joules of energy. This number is huge. It is 1 followed by 44 zeros. There is no event occurring on Earth whose energy can be compared to this value. For instance, the most powerful nuclear bomb ever tested on the Earth released only 10 to the power of 17 joules of energy, 1 followed by 17 zeros. In fact, the amount of energy emitted by a gamma ray burst is comparable to the energy emitted by the Sun during its whole life. However, what is even more impressive is the fact that while the Sun releases all this energy, over 10 billion years, a gamma ray burst can release it in less than a second. That's why GRBs are said to be the most powerful events in the universe. It's because their duration is extremely short. Although other phenomena in the universe are able to release a similar amount of energy, none of them can do it in such a short time like a gamma ray burst. To give you an idea of how powerful gamma ray bursts are, think about this fact. The farthest object in the universe we have ever been able to observe with the naked eye is indeed a GRB. I'am talking about GRB 080319B. Yes, not really an easy name to remember. This gamma ray burst was observed for the first time by a NASA satellite on March 19, 2008. It was so powerful that it emitted not only gamma radiation, but also a lot of visible light. In fact, it remained visible in the sky for about 30 seconds, although it was a very faint object given its extreme distance. What is really astonishing here is that this event was visible despite the fact its distance from the Earth was about 7.5 billion light years. This was in fact the farthest object ever visible to the human eye. To give you an idea of what we are talking about, if this gamma ray burst occurred at the same distance as the Sun, it would have been a thousand trillion times brighter than our star. Now that we have understood how powerful these events are, we may ask ourselves the following question. Are gamma ray bursts dangerous for the Earth? The answer is yes and no. Yes, they are potentially very dangerous. In fact, if the Earth was along the direction of the cone of energy of a hypothetical future gamma ray burst, we would be in serious trouble. Gamma rays, in fact, are extremely dangerous for the atmosphere, since they can trigger several chemical reactions that would lead to a dramatic reduction of the ozone level. As a consequence, a larger amount of ultraviolet radiation from the sun would reach the Earth's surface, causing devastating effects both on the climate but also on living organisms, such as a potential increase of cancer risk. Although it is hard to make accurate predictions, such an event could potentially lead to a mass extinction. In fact, there are a few evidences suggesting that one of the Earth's extinction events in the past 
occurred 450 million years ago could have been triggered by a gamma ray burst. However, you want to wait a minute before freaking out. The chances of this to happen are not so high. In fact, there are two points to consider here. First, gamma ray bursts occur not that frequently. In fact, these events are quite rare. It is believed that in a galaxy, only a few GRBs occur over a million years. To give you an idea, no gamma ray bursts have been observed so far in our galaxy, at least since we are able to detect them. Second, even if a gamma ray burst occurs in our galaxy, we have to keep in mind that most of its energy is concentrated in a narrow cone. Therefore, Earth would be affected only if it was along the direction of this beam of energy of the GRB. However, since this beam is very narrow, the probability of this to happen is very low. No panic. The chances that we will be hit by a gamma ray burst in the near future are quite low. So in conclusion, gamma ray bursts are very fascinating events. Nothing else in the universe can produce such large amounts of energy in such short times. Somehow gamma ray bursts are a reminder to us of the immense power that some objects in the universe have and some of the incredible amounts of energy that are produced in certain monster collisions between cosmic objects. And we are the lucky spectators of these wonderful shows. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Did you find gamma ray bursts exciting? Are you amazed by the immense power of these events? Are you afraid about the possibility of one of them hitting the Earth? Is there anything more you want to hear about GRBs? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.